Hey everyone, this is Zach Hampel coming to you from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia and this place should be empty today, at least at the start. It's a single admission doubleheader starting at 3 o'clock. It's a weekday, a work day, kids are back in school. I'm thinking the first game, I might be the only person in the outfield. So my goal today is to catch a home run during the game or during one of the games. 18 innings of baseball, all condensed into one video for you. Now the gates are only opening an hour before first pitch. There's no batting practice, I already took a peek inside the gates, no action on the field. So gotta get a toss up at some point, and like I said, hopefully a dinger during the game. Let's do this. One nice thing about days with no batting practice is that it's so much more relaxed inside the stadium. And you can see where I am right now, right along the bullpens in deep right center field in this brand new area. Let me just scoot past you, get a whole shot of it. These stools did not used to be here, and it looks like this is just wide open for anybody to come chill and hang out. There's a similar spot at Dodger Stadium, which I showed in a video from earlier this year. You can see behind me Nationals bullpen coach Henry Blanco, just chilling there, making some notes, maybe for tonight's matchups. And this is a great spot to get toss-ups. You can see the pitchers warm up. The bullpen configuration here in Philadelphia is about as good as it gets in Major League Baseball. Jake Pavetta pitching for the Phillies today against Eric Fetty for the Nationals. Nice to see both of those guys warming up from that corner spot between the bullpens and the outfield. Now while I was down there, I got a baseball tossed up by someone on the Phillies coaching staff, Craig Driver. And then when I headed back up to the concourse overlooking the bullpens, I got another one tossed up by one of the members of the Nationals coaching staff. Not sure who. And for right now, you can just see where I am. I'm out in right field. It is so empty. Now the way doubleheaders work, it's definitely going to fill up over the course of the game. So I feel like the sooner they hit balls out here, the better. And of course, if I'm seeing two games in one day, I got to eat two meals in one day. Got a little pizza for now. Going to try to get something more interesting later on. We are in the bottom of the sixth inning and Eric Fetty is in control. He's only allowed two hits to the Phillies and the Nationals are on top two to nothing. Their first run of the game came on an opposite field homer by rookie Spencer Keeboom. I came really close to snagging that ball in the seats and a few minutes later I saw security surrounding the fan who did get that ball and sure enough they escorted him up the stairs and I realized that's Keeboom's first major league home run. So I headed over there during the next inning break to ask that fan what happened, if he got anything for the ball. He said that he exchanged phone numbers with someone with the Nationals organization and he asked for a Bryce Harper signed bat and ball in exchange. That's kind of a big ask, but the guy said that the Nationals person said that they're gonna see if they can do that and deliver the stuff to him in between games of the doubleheader. So if he gets it and he's back out in the seats with it, we'll throw a shot of that in the video. Well, Sean Doolittle did not suck. 
He nailed down the save. It's a final three to one Nationals in game one here in Philadelphia. Now, I did get a third baseball tossed up by Philly's right fielder, Nick Williams, right before the fourth inning got underway. Very unexpectedly, not even sure if we got a shot of it. And I just want to say this about baseballs, double headers, and my consecutive game streak. I recently passed the 25 year anniversary of when my streak began. It's now 1,475 consecutive games at which I've snagged at least one ball. And I've had people tell me that if you go to a double header, you have to catch at least one ball in each game, but that's not exactly how it works. That's not how I do it. Ever since I started my collection, I decided that the number of times that I enter a stadium in a day determines how many times I have to snag a baseball. So if it's a single admission double header and I'm just in here once, I only need one ball. So no matter what happens in game two, my streak is alive. If you go to a split double header, a day game, night game, then you gotta catch a ball each time you go in the stadium. Does that make sense? Anyway, like I said, I grabbed a meal before game one. I'm gonna find some more food now before game two. There's about half an hour of downtime. Browns crew is working on the field. The players will come back out and warm up, and we'll take it from there. When in Philly, you gotta get some cheesesteaks. So I hit up a place called Campos, deep in the concourse in right center field, behind the bullpens, and I've got a couple of cheesesteaks tonight. But as I've mentioned in some recent videos, sometimes I try to be a little bit healthier. So both of these cheesesteaks tonight are actually vegetarian. You can see the one that's beef right here, quote unquote beef. This thing looks amazing. We got grilled onions, smothered in cheese. I'm gonna make a mess right here, but time to take a big bite while I watch the Nationals warm up for the game. Number 16, second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. It's the top of the fifth inning here in game two. The Nationals are on top three to nothing and all three of those runs have been knocked in by 19 year old Juan Soto. He just hit his 17th home run of the season, a blast well over 400 feet to right center field into the bullpens. And get this, that home run just put him ahead of Ken Griffey Jr. on the all-time list for Major League home runs by teenagers. Griffey had 16, Soto passed Mickey Mantle earlier in the season, and he's also tossing a ton of balls into the crowd. Now, as you can see, I've transitioned over here to left field for the nightcap. There are more righties in the lineups. There's more space here, too. And I mentioned earlier that guy who got the home run ball who asked for the bat and the ball from Harper. Well, I don't see him anymore. He's across the stadium, so not sure how that turned out. Messed that one up right there. Totally should have had it. Jose Bautista, long, high home run ball to left center field. And I misjudged it. I thought it was gonna carry to me. I camped out and it fell a couple rows short. So we have about one inning to go right now, hoping for one more chance, but I think that was it. <laughs> Crazy game here tonight at Citizens Bank Park. The Phillies were within one strike of closing this thing out on several different occasions, but the Nationals scored three runs in the ninth inning to tie it. And the poor Philly fans were grunting and groaning as their team let things slip away. There were several different instant replay reviews. The umpires had to huddle up another time when there was confusion about the number of balls and strikes. If you can think of it, it pretty much happened tonight. And this game really seemed to drag on. Now I thought that the Jose Bautista home run was gonna be my last opportunity to get one. But what do you know? The teenager, Juan Soto, came up to bat in the top of the 10th inning, and I moved a couple of sections over to left center field. I just had a feeling. And sure enough, he launched one right in my direction. 
couple other fans reached up for it, we bobbled it, but I grabbed the ball out from under a seat. So you can see this baseball right here, and by the way, I'm closing this thing out outside the stadium, right where it all began many, many hours ago. Now, this baseball is my eighth game home run of the season, my 63rd lifetime, and it took me 19 innings of baseball to get this one. Really feels good. And it was actually my fifth ball of the day. I got the two before the first game, then a Nick Williams warm-up ball during the first game, and then in the middle of the ninth inning of the second game, Juan Soto threw one of his warm-up balls that a fan nearby bobbled. I picked it up, handed it to her. We don't have a shot of that. Happened kind of quickly. So yeah, number five on the day. And I did get a baseball during each game after all. What do you know? So no arguments about the streak and whether it counts or not. The five total today bring my lifetime number to 10,605. And man, it is late right now. We gotta go. I just want to give a quick shout out to my friends at Campos, that awesome concession stand. And what else? I think that's it. Have a good night, everybody.